Hello dear engineering students, welcome back to the channel. Hope you are all doing well and uh, hope you have started your preparation as uh, your timetable has been released by the VTU. So today I have taken uh, the question paper uh, for BCS301. This is the mathematics subject for third semester students, especially for the CSE stream. So here we have the question from module first. This is the December 2023 or 2024 paper. So this is module one first question that is on the probability. A random variable x has the following probability function for variable values of x. So we have here random variable. Uh, these are the values and respectively its probabilities are given. So probability of x at 0 is equal to 0. Probability of x at 1 is equal to k. So likewise we have here probabilities and this, uh, this is the random variable, right? So what we have to calculate in this particular question that is find value of k and next one is evaluate p of x greater or equal to 6. Uh, this I will tell you later on in the question once we solve it. p of x greater than 3 less or equal to 6. So I will tell you the procedure first then uh, we come uh, to this particular uh, probability and that time I will remind you how to uh, check these probabilities over here. Okay so first of all we have to find the value of k that is our first job. So you know already from the previous classes itself that is from 10th, 11th or 12th that sum of probabilities is always equal to 1. Okay. So hope uh, you have remem remembered this from your previous classes. Probabilities, uh, the sum of probabilities is always equal to 1. That is we have here equation summation of i running from 1 to n which is equal to that is your summation of probabilities is always equal to 1. So what does this mean over here? So we have here probabilities 0, k, 2k, 2k, 3k, k square, 2k square, 7k square plus k. So once we sum these all probabilities, we should get one value. So I will uh, write down here, we know that summation of probabilities is equal to 1. That is 0 plus k plus 2k plus 2k plus 3k plus k square plus 2k square plus 7k square plus k is equal to 1. So these all summation of probabilities should be equal to 1. Now uh, we will calculate this much. First of all we will take the square terms that is k square 2k square that is 3k square plus 7k square that is 10k square. So 10k square plus now we have term k over here. So 2k plus k is 3k, 5k, 5 plus 3 is 8k and here we have 1k that is 9k. So 10k square plus 9k is equal to 1, right? Hope you are getting my points. So I can write down here 10, x, sorry, 10k square plus 9k. This one, if I shift to the left hand side, so it becomes minus 1 is equal to 0. Now here we don't have any term. So now, uh, you know also the separating of the middle term. I hope uh, that concept is also in your mind how to separate the term. If you are not knowing, so let me tell you over here in brief how to separate the terms. Suppose we have here middle term that is 9k. If we have to separate this 9k term, right? So we should get uh, 9k again. If we just separate it into two numbers, we should get the sum as 9k. And when, once we multiply those two terms, I'm separating. Separating means you have to just separate this 9k into two numbers. But sum should be again 9k and their uh, multiplication should be 10k square into 1. That is 10k square should be their multiplication. That is the splitting of the middle term. So now we have to take here 10k square. If I just separate it, I can write down plus 10k minus k. So see here, I have separated this 9k into two, two terms that is 10k minus k. So what is the summation? 10k minus k is again 9k. So we are getting summation as 9k. Now another uh, what I have told you that uh, there should be multiplication should be equal to 10k square into 1 is 10k square. So see here, if I just multiply these two terms that is 10k into k is 10k square and minus is the sign uh, sorry uh, we have here the minus sign that is 10k into k is minus 10k square right so hope you are getting my point that how to split the two terms so again we have here minus 1 which is equal to 0 hope it is clear now i am observing here i can just take 10k as common from this particular term so see here i will just take 10k common what we will remain with here that is 1k 10k into k is 10k square so again we are getting 10k so i have taken 10k common from these two terms so plus we have here 10k we have taken it common so one we are left with minus k sorry i will just take uh, 
plus 1 common from this particular term that is plus 1 into k sorry minus I will take minus 1 minus 1 into k is minus k right so I can write down here plus 1 so minus 1 into plus 1 that is minus 1 again we are getting this term right so which is equal to 0 now k plus 1 k plus 1 again we can take common so I think there will be not the space over there so I will write down here the next uh, step so this is your uh, k plus 1 I will take again common so k plus 1 I am taking common what I am left with uh, that is 10k 10k and this minus 1 okay so which is equal to 0 now I can write down k plus 1 either it is equal to 0 or 10k minus 1 it is equal to 0 so I can write down k plus 1 is equal to 0 or this 10k minus 1 is equal to 0 so I can write down here k is equal to minus 1 if I am getting k value as negative but that is not possible just probability cannot can never be the negative value okay so this will not be equal to uh, minus 1 here we have 10k minus 1 is equal to 0 I can write down 10k is equal to minus 1 I will shift on the right hand side I will get positive 1 so k is equal to 1 this 10 will get divided so k is equal to 10 1 by 10 so this is your k is equal to 1 by 10 is the first question that was find value of k now we have to evaluate uh, probabilities of x greater or equal to 6 and probability of x is greater than 3 less or equal to 6 now first of all let's evaluate first one <coughs> hope <coughs> this is clear to you people right so first of all i will rub, rub it so up to this i hope it is clear so k value we are getting 1 by 10 just put this k value 1 by 10 in this particular box okay for the evaluation of this later on this particular term so i will write down here x 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 now i have to put k value so probability of x is equal to 0 k value is nothing but 1 by 10 that is your 0 0.1 and 2k means 0 0.2 2k means 0 0.2 again and 3k means 0 0.3 and k square means 1 by 10 whole square you will get 0 0.01 and uh, 2k square you will get 0 0.02 and 7k square plus k once you put k value as 1 by 10 you will get 0 0.17 somewhere around 0 0.17 right now what we have to evaluate probability of x greater or equal to 6 see here in this particular probability chart greater or equal to 6 means including 6 equal to greater greater than 6 means we have one term only 7 are you getting my point 6 and 7 we have to take probabilities of 6 and 7 so here we have probabilities of 6 and 7 once you will write down here probability of x is greater or equal to 6 means we have to take summation of these probabilities 0 0.02 and plus 0 0.17 hope you are getting so which is equal to 0 0.02 plus 0 0.17 how much you will get 0 0.19 is the answer for this particular term that is p of x is greater or equal to 6 now we have another one p of x greater than 3 so x greater than 3 means uh, sorry x greater than 3 means we have 4 5 6 7 but here is the condition less or equal to 6 it should be equal to 6 and less than 6 so before 6 and 6 including so from here to here we have take uh, probabilities of these three terms so 0 0.3 plus 0 0.01 0 0.02 so I can write down here probability of 3 less than x less or equal to 6 which is equal to sorry for the disturbance uh, we were here that is uh, probability of x is greater than 3 less or equal to 6 first of all we have to check greater than 3 we have values 4 5 6 and 7 but here is the condition less or equal to 6 that is equal to 6 uh, first of all we have to take 6 and less than 6 so 5 and 4 are the less than values from 6 right so x we, uh, sorry 7 we have to exclude we have to take only probabilities of these uh, three terms that is your x is greater than 3 less or equal to 6 so we can write down summation of these three probabilities that is 0 0.3 plus 0 0.01 plus 0 0.02 so once you sum it how much you will get 0 0.3 plus uh, this is 0 0.33 so 0 0.33 is the probability for your third uh, question that is x greater than 3 less or equal to 6 so, so this is all about this particular question it was 6 marks question in the December 2023-24 paper
so these six marks are just in your pocket my dear engineering students so you cannot leave it and it is a simple question i hope you have understood the procedure how to solve this particular question how to calculate the k value first then later on how to evaluate the probabilities and the conditions will be given accordingly so here we were having p of x is greater or equal to 6 and p of x is sorry x is greater than 3 less or equal to 6 so this was all about today's question i hope this is clear and make sure you will share this question to all your friends and batchmates who are just struggling with the mathematics subject. Thank you. This is all about today's video.